Hi, I'm Karen Rowe at Museums Victoria, and right now we're standing in what we call Store H, or the Vertebrate Dry Collection. Most of the things in this room are what we call study skins, um, but we have an amazing hummingbird case that we also store in this room. Now, study skin is a particular type of preparation where an animal is preserved in a very specific way so that they can be compared among each other. And that's the sort of skins that researchers will traditionally use when they're doing studies. Now, the hummingbirds you see in the case behind me didn't arrive at the museum in the same lifelike poses that you see. They actually arrived as study skins. Our own taxidermists actually changed the shape of them so that they looked more lifelike. And that's how they're displayed in the case. Now this case comes from the late 1800s. Back then it was normal practice to trade um, animals around so people that lived in different parts of the world could actually see the diversity and beautiful animals that lived everywhere. Now the birds collected in this case would have been from North America and South America. A case like this on display in an Australian museum may have been the only time someone in the late 1800s would have had a chance to see a hummingbird. Hummingbirds are like these little, just amazing balls of energy that are just constantly zipping back and forth. And some of them even have these spectacular dives where they'll go way up in the sky and then they'll just sort of drop down and make this little buzzing noise. And that's how you know that they're there because you don't see them so fast. Hummingbirds are so small that they weigh less than a five cent coin. Just the ultimate in terms of birds. They are elite athletes, they are fashion models, they are fighter pilots. They can do all of these things. So hummingbirds are adapted to a really fast and extreme lifestyle. They have the highest metabolism of any vertebrate. They fly faster than some jet planes can go. Um, and they have some of the most beautiful colors. They're actually one of the few groups of birds that display such diversity in iridescence. The colors that they have are just spectacular and they're like little jewels that you can just, every once in a while, they'll see a flash of them and you know it's a hummingbird. 